So our dogs are used for uh, evidence recovery. They're just another tool for a conservation officer to accomplish their, uh, their task. Conservation officer Krista Rose, uh, I patrol Region 1, uh, which is Long Island, and this is my canine partner, Canine Kramer. Uh, his detection work is fish and wildlife, so he's certified on venison, striped bass, and ducks. He's also uh, trained for uh, detection in spent shell casings and firearms, and he's also a patrol dog, so he's certified in handler protection or, uh, or bite work, and also tracking. So it's my job as a canine handler to, to keep him calibrated, keep him trained up, so when guys do call for him, he's ready to go, he's certified, he, he, he knows what his job is. So I decided to become a, a canine handler just from working in the field and, and reading highlights and seeing how uh, the unit throughout the state was able to, to help conservation officers. We did not have a canine in Region 1 at the time, so uh, I looked at it as a challenge. He's going to be our first Marine District dog. So Kramer and I have uh, been partners for just over five years. Kramer was named after a game protector, William Kramer, a game protector uh, that was murdered in the line of duty in 1929. Kramer was picked based on his, uh, his sociability, uh, his temperament, uh, and his ball drive. And that ball drive, so his desire to play with a toy or find a toy, we use that ball drive to lead him into all his other training and to uh, use that as a reward system for him to accomplish whatever task we want, whatever detection work or anything like that. It's all for a toy. You know, it's a game for him. Um, so as a unit, uh, we get together once a month at the uh, Summit Canine Training Facility and just refresh all that training. And, you know, I'm training him, um, but I also have all the other handlers watching me to make sure that, you know, I'm not doing anything incorrect and, you know, I'm keeping my skills up too as a canine handler. His striped bass detection is unique. Um, at this point, he's the only dog in the state that's certified for, uh, for striped bass. Officers in the field, you know, including myself, we're, we're, we're very dependent on our eyes and what we could see. Uh, Kramer is going strictly on sense of smell, where, you know, guys in the field might have a little bit more difficult of a time finding it. Um, Kramer's pretty good at it. Pretty much every case that, you know, that our guys call him out for is memorable for me because just watching him work, we train a lot, and just seeing him help another, another officer uh, is rewarding to me. So outside of work, I try to get some of his energy out, whether it's you know, playing fetch, running, but you know, I still try to relax him, let him decompress, just like a person, you know, he need, does need a day off. Typically on, on my days off, I'm just looking to spend time with my family. I don't fish as much as I, uh, I like to, I do hunt, but I have a young son at home, I just want to spend time with him, and. Uh, Typically, Kramer's involved with that, too. So our dogs will work until they're between 8 and 10 years old. Once he retires, the division turns him over to me, so then he would become a uh, more of a family dog, less of a work dog, and he's, uh, he'd be out of service and just uh, enjoy the rest of retirement from home. <laughs>